Hey Scorpio, it's F9 here and I'm back with another video for you guys. This video is going to be a messages from your person video. So whether it's a loved one, someone you're thinking about, whoever you're thinking about, um, if you've clicked on this video and you want to know what their message is to you or how they feel about you, this is the video for you. Um, Scorpios were actually the last sign to get the most views on your March 2020. So shout out to y'all. Um, I'm probably going to be coming out with another video to end March for you guys entering April. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If you guys find that this video helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Um, the more views you guys get, of course, the more bonuses I give to your specific sign. Um, what else? I do still have specials going on. It's not going to be really a special. I think I'm just going to stick to this price range. I'm going to do three card readings for $25. I'm going to do six card readings for $50. I have chakra healing readings for $44. If you guys want to learn more about that, feel free to email me my description. Wait, my email is in the description box below. I also have an Amazon wish list deal. If you guys purchase me something off my wish list on my Amazon page, you guys will get a sweet deal. Email me about that too if you're interested in purchasing. So we're gonna get into this for you guys. Oh shit, they are mad. Okay, okay, okay. I cannot take all of these, but I will take those. The ones that face up. Ooh, conflict a little bit. Okay, Scorpio, we're going to get into it. Scorpio, you may be out looking for truths. Truths that happen with a specific individual. I'm seeing a specific individual that has this king of pinnacles in reverse energy. Hmm. I'm getting different energies. All right. All right, I'm gonna go with this first energy because I'm getting several. Scorpio, either there's a person that's truth seeking to find out why you guys are beefing or had a fallout. They feel like you're being cold hearted towards them. You're keeping secrets I'm hearing from them. You're keeping something from them. Maybe you were materialistic, something that had something to do with something creative. I have the King of Pentacles here in reverse and I have the Queen of Wands here in reverse. So I have both earth and fire energy. Okay, and then I have the Queen of Swords here, upright. So that means someone who's looking for truth, someone who's like diving deep into their intuition, trying to find out what the fuck is going on. Okay, I also have the Five of Swords here. So this may be telling me that this person either feels like you're gonna attack them. I'm getting a lot of energy. I'm getting, I'm hearing you're not too good for, you're too good for them. And like whatever they do, it seems like it's not enough. There's just always conflict and confusion. It's also some snaky energy that could have been going on. And it has something to do with communication for sure, Scorpio. So either you could be acting like this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands in reverse. Or the other energy I'm getting from these cards is that you're truth seeking. You're trying to dive deep into finding out why this person is acting like the king of pentacles and the queen of wands. It's kind of like their energies, their divine feminine and divine masculine energies are kind of imbalanced, okay? Or this could be two different individuals. You could be at conflict or at ends with a king of pentacles or a queen of wands energy. So again, earth sign, I have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries woman. They don't necessarily have to be a man or a woman. It's just whoever takes on those energies of a masculine or a, fi or a feminine, if that makes sense. But either someone's playing this queen of swords energy or you're being this queen of swords energy. Let's see what else I get from this. King of Pentacles energy is usually someone who is hmm, immoral, um, lo low-key sadistic, will pretty much do anything, risk it all for money, for material gain, 
for possession. And then Queen of Wands is a woman who's kind of not in tuned with her creative free side. She's kind of trapped against her will, kind of has a lot of blockages going on, um, maybe blocked in her sacral chakra and her solar plexus. And this King of Pentacles energy may be blocked in his heart chakra. So he is not compassionate. He lacks empathy. He lacks sympathy. He lacks our humane care for humanity, pretty much, that energy. And this Queen of Wands energy, this feminine energy, whomever she is, she lacks a sex drive. She lacks confidence. She lacks energy overall. She may be tired some a lot, drained. Okay trying to get what else she may not be courageous or brave okay she's not putting on her lioness energy she's kind of just like sitting back and letting someone else take the lead even though she deep down inside wants to take the lead but you are at odds in that conflict with either two types of individuals like this or this could be one person who is totally imbalanced in their like i said masculine and feminine energies so more messages from whoever it is you're thinking about. I'm hearing why. Like, somebody wants to know why. Why did this falling out happen? You could, you could also be at um, in competition. I heard a little bit of a third-party situation as well. Like, maybe somebody, if you're a Queen of Swords energy, Scorpio, um, you can be taking on air sign energy right now, Libra, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. But if you are saying, for example, if you are a female and you were dating an earth sign or just a masculine sign who's portraying these king of pinnacles and reverse energy, okay, they could have perhaps been communicating with the queen of wands energy. These are both low vibrational beings though. It's kind of like they left you for a low vibrational being and they kind of like, I'm seeing turn them into, ooh, turn them into a lower vibrational being with them. So I'm getting more information. Whomever this king is, if he left you or kind of was disloyal to you or lied to you, kept secrets, kept secrets from you or whatever, they were influenced heavily by this queen of wands energy. And vice versa, if a Queen of Wands fire sign of some sort did the same thing, like kept secrets, left you, um, your communication kind of frazzled or got fucked up somewhere, and they like went off with a King of Pentacles energy, this person could have brought them down. I'm hearing bring me down to my knees, down. They could have brought them down to a lower um, vibration. And I'm hearing it had to happen because it's a karmic cycle. It's a karmic cycle that has to be dealt with. Um, it's a lesson that has to be learned. I'm hearing a lesson that has to be shared. Maybe this lesson's being shared right now. Scorpio. What else do we have from messages from our person for Scorpio? This is timeless, by the way. Um, this has no date. It's whenever you come across it. Um, again, if you guys are resonating, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want when you're done. Scorpio messages from that person. Scorpio. Yeah, someone, you might be getting out of your head about blame. You have never ending story in reverse. Getting out of your head about time, getting out of your head about it never being enough, about I'm hearing it never being perfect, not blaming yourself. Maybe you kind of reenacted or played this scenario in your head over and over again and you're kind of just over it and you, you're ready to let it go. You're ready to get to the bottom of it. You're ready to just, I'm seeing a handout too. Like someone is just putting their hands up, throwing their hands up and saying, fuck it, I'm over it. Or this could be that person. What else messages?
yeah, all that glitters ain't gold. Someone was being extremely fake. And there's two masks here. I'm hearing dumbass. <laughs> Someone was a dumbass. Someone's acting like they are feeling away. <sighs> and that's not the true way that they feel. Someone is putting on a persona that they're a specific type of person and they're not. Um, I'm hearing that this could be your person. Acting like they're happy when they're not happy with this person. So if some, okay, okay. So if you go on this person's social media and they are with someone else and they look happy, I'm here to tell you they are not really happy. At one point they couldn't get out of their head what's been going on, what they did. But I'm also sensing that they're starting to let go. There will be a spiritual ascension or awakening of some sort, an epiphany coming soon for this person. And likewise for you as well. Or maybe you're going through the spiritual awakening now. I see the number seven. Sevens for some of you guys may be popping up a lot. If you see sevens, then definitely note that. Look up the meaning, spiritual meaning of seven. And I'm also seeing green kyanite. Green kyanite is pretty dope. It's for the heart chakra. Green kyanite um, will definitely, if you hold green kyanite, it will give you the discernment that you need. So if you carry green kyanite around with you and you're around other people, you'll be able to pretty much sum up what kind of person that person is, if they're being true to you or if they aren't being true to you. So if you feel like you're around somebody and you're not sure what kind of person they really are, that's just carry green kyanite. Um, the overall energy I'm getting for this Scorpio is that someone is acting like somebody that they're not. Um, I'm hearing protect yourself at all costs. Be the Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Swords is, she doesn't play that shit. She's very blunt, but she does it in a very um, intellectual type of way. Um, she doesn't lash out or curse anyone out. She gets down to the nitty gritty, the bottom of shit by asking the right questions. She kind of progs, if that kind of makes sense, progs um, with her questions to get specific answers and then she uses her discernment to kind of come up with her own theory or conclusion about a specific person but um this person isn't as happy as they seem at all they're not as happy as they seem carry green kyanite all right um signs again i have air signs in here uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But there's a lot of air in here. I don't have any water, which is usually your your um, element, Scorpio, and that's okay. Um, but this all has to do with like word of mouth communication, communication such as like social media as well. Uh, if someone is portraying to be one way. It's definitely that way, not that way at all. Um, chakras that are being affected, like I said, solar plexus, sacral, and the heart chakra is what I'm seeing. And you're, you need to step into your third eye chakra as well in order to get the discernment you need. So I'm going to leave that there, Scorpio. I hope that that resonated with you guys. If you guys want to comment below and chat it up, feel free to do so. Again, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you can always be up to date when I post new things. Um, and like I said, I do have current specials right now. Three card readings for 25, six card readings for 50, and I have my new chakra healing sessions for $44 a session. Um, those sessions are pretty much just like me getting tapping into your energy and seeing what chakras you need to personally work on and once we get to the bottom of that I your spirit communicates to me what rituals herbs crystals etc etc you need to purchase or what remedies you need rituals you need to do in order to help cleanse those chakras okay to feel better so if you guys are interested in that or learning more email me that's in the description box below and i'm also going to put in the description box like the chakras you need to work on from this reading and a brief synopsis of what the hell i was talking about so i love you guys thanks for your support till next time bye